Well, growing wealth in Indonesia has been benefiting consumer stocks as well as wetting the country's appetite. Charan Pokfand, Indonesia is the country's largest supplier of chickens and its share price has rallied over 300%. Look at that chart there, in the past 12 months alone. Now, of course, Indonesia's chicken appetite compared with other low and medium income countries is relatively low. But my next guest thinks this is set to change. Nagurnan Turacholvan is an equity analyst at Standard Chartered, joining us now live from SGX. And Nagurnan, I do find it quite difficult to keep the smile off my face. You know, we're talking about chicken in a, of course, in, in a, a Muslim country where they eat mostly halal food. And we're talking to you, and you, of course, are a vegetarian, so you don't even eat chicken. That's correct. That's uh, ironic in a sense, but it uh, helps me maintain my independence. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. We always like to be speaking to an independent analyst. And let's talk about this, uh, this stock then. Uh, of course, uh, I should point out that it's got chicken, duck, pigs and an aquaculture business as well. Uh, you're talking about betting on uh, halal food, Indonesia being the biggest Muslim country in the world. Of course, uh, uh, Muslims can't eat pigs, so you're just betting on the chicken side of the business. Is that right? Or is there also growth coming out of the other sides? This company is principally a chicken producing company. It produces the entire value chain for the chicken um, market in Indonesia. So it's uh, principally a play on chicken consumption in that country, which we expect to be pretty strong given the rise in the middle classes, as you alluded to earlier, as well as the fact that uh, halal chicken is increasingly popular in that country. Uh, now let me ask you, we've seen the chart uh, when we were uh, coming to Nagurn and up 300% over the last 12 months. I mean, that's a substantial rally. Uh, what was this rally based on and just how much further can it go? Is it not all right already moving towards the expensive side of the equation? We have it at 15 or 16 times forecasted earnings, which is fairly reasonable given the strong growth that we expect with this company. On a price to earnings growth basis, this is actually undervalued. We see, at a 20, see it at a 20% discount uh, to the prevailing sector PG average. So on that basis, uh, there is a lot of upside in this name. We have 25% upside on Charun Park Band Indonesia. Uh, what about the ROE? You know, I noticed uh, from your research you've pointed out that the ROE is way below the rest of the sector. Now, I haven't looked at a lot of valuations when it comes to these particular kind of companies uh, before. Uh, it, it would suggest that it's, that it's not a good thing uh, uh, because it's essentially not as efficient as uh, a number of its peers. Uh, but perhaps these valuations should be read differently. Well, uh, Charun Pakpan Indonesia has an ROE of... Uh, 47 uh, percent so it's uh, way in excess of the rest of the sector uh, so we are impressed by the fact that they are uh, returning such uh, strong returns and on a uh, on a price to book to roe basis it's uh, undervalued uh, rest uh, in, rel in relation to the rest of the sector what about uh, you know we've been talking for, for a large part of cash flow today about this rise in commodity prices that we've been seeing it's been a long-term trend now uh, what about the risk of uh, uh, prices rising when it comes to feed like corn like soybeans that's a very important question uh, what we like about both charun pork pan indonesia and charun pork pan foods is that they have the ability to pass on uh, the increase in feed prices such as uh, corn prices and soybean prices to the end user they are operating the entire value chain in the chicken business so by controlling the retail end of the market every time there's an increase in the input prices they can increase uh, the retail end of the spectrum uh, they are the dominant player in chicken in both Thailand and Indonesia and that provides it with uh, fantastic leverage in terms of uh, rising prices. All right. Uh, Nagurnan, it's been great to have you with us today. Thank you, as always, for joining us here on Cash Flow. Nagurnan Tirichelvin from Standard Chartered with us there.